Um, it's excerpts of a much longer poem called Red Leather, and it was my attempt to write uh, queer prayers. <laughs> I know, you write poems because some grant maker tells you that writing about a woman's body is not relevant or innovative, and you get mad, and then you write one poem. Then you fall in love and you write prayers. <laughs> excerpts from Red Leather. There is healing to be done. May there always be healing. There is movement to be done. May there always be movement. There is learning to be done. May there always be learning. There are unseen things to share. May there always be unseen things to share. There is fear and may it be banished. There is darkness, may it surround two torches. There is more, may there always be abundance. There is a you and another you. May there always be you and may there always be another you. I offer this. I offer movement and grace and healing. I offer conversation and mistake making and more grace. I offer conversation. I offer forgiveness and movements upon movements upon movements of life. I offer mica and jade and Apache tears. I offer petrified wood and rose quartz. I offer red roses and staggering lilies. I offer Orion and all the other stars. I offer a star shower and an eclipse. I offer nights of sleeping spent wrapped in each other's naked. I offer nights spent fully clothed, laying like a puzzle. I offer your feet close to my face. I offer missing and reunion. I offer learning. I offer flames and glowing. I offer myself to you in the only way I know how to with words on a page. I offer to you the unexpected, to you the undefined, to you the unlabeled. This longing is an awakening, the first cry of hunger, the fulfillment of the breast. I offer only what I can spare, which is everything I am that can be shared. I will not get lost in you as I know you will not get lost in me. It is not possible for two wild things to be lost. We work so diligently on existence. Thank you.